Hey folks, it's Max with PhoneArena.com. We are at Build 2014 in San Francisco. And um, if this is a familiar looking logo to you, it should be because Ad Duplex has uh, become very rapidly a uh, industry linchpin within the Windows Phone and uh, Windows uh, community. The uh, company provides cross promotion of uh, through advertising and uh, other means for developers to um, promote their apps uh, in a model without having to rely necessarily on monetizing it right away. Um, the company's been in business for just over three years and already has more than 5,000 active apps using the service. Their statistics, uh, oh, more than 7,000 apps. So, you know, look at that already already corrected on that. <laughs> anyway, they deliver tens of millions of ad impressions per day. They are here at uh, Build 2014, and, and with us today is the founder and CEO of Ad Duplex. It's Alan Mendelevich, um, based in Vilnius, Lithuania. Right. And um, having a great time at Build. Yeah. Sweet. Finally got some sleep tonight, so. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's right. a good day. <laughs> sure, sure. So talk a little bit about, you guys got started in 2011, January. Yeah. Um, the idea popped into your head and um, yeah. yeah so, so so the genesis of this was that I was a uh, .NET developer myself I was involved with the community and when Microsoft announced Windows Phone I thought that's that that will be my entrance into mobile development uh, then I stayed with the community and basically immediately after they launched the platform I started seeing my friends on Twitter and other places complained that you know it, it, it was very hard to, to get your app noticed. Right. So basically, at that time, it was basically impossible for an indie developer to get your app noticed. And I, and, and some of them tried to monetize with ads, but this doesn't work until we get to some scale. Right. So we so 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 I had an idea. So. As we as developers cannot yet monetize it because we are not at scale yet, maybe we should better use that ad space to promote each other, to right. get bigger, to get to the scale, and then we can monetize sure. either with paid ads or, yeah. or with some other, by some other means. And for and for those that don't understand the concept of being able to, to get achieve some scale, let's say for example, I have a killer app mm -hmm. and um, it's something that would be a winner. But if I only if I'm only promoting it to an audience of one then there's no scale yeah. for me to make anything from the app or for the app to see any visibility. And what Ad Duplex does is it allows the developer to shoot um, some visibility of that app across hundreds of thousands of devices that might be running apps that also use Ad Duplex. Yeah, so, so uh, basically yeah. what we do, we help developers promote the apps for free by, yeah. by helping other developers. So as a developer, you just add a line of code into your app, start promoting other apps, and they promote you in return. Yeah. All of this is free. There's only one little catch that we take 20% of that exchange. Sure. So, so you show 100 ad impressions for other apps, they will show 80 for you. Yeah. We will take 20 and sell that to advertisers. And those advertisers, are like 99% of them are also other apps, just those who have right. budget. So it's so basically what you see, what you see from a duplex in your app is most of the time is ads for other, other apps, which, right. is, which is nice because some because people who don't like ads they usually have that. You know, right. uh, position to ads because they see advertising for some products that are yeah. not, not really nice. But yeah, like I don't, I don't care about ads about auto insurance. But yeah. if I'm running, if I'm playing a, a racing app and I see another racing app advertised uh, on yeah. my phone, that might actually hold some appeal to me. Um, so, in just over a year, you had you went from zero to a, a little over a thousand apps um, using Ad Duplex. In that first few months, when you guys got started. Um, you know, how long did it take to, for you to get from zero to 100 apps using it? I mean, did this catch on like, obviously it caught on like wildfire. I mean, you already were so the seventh. Yeah, you know, in retrospect, it looks this way. But <laughs> as I remember, I think after a half a year, we didn't, didn't have 100 apps yet. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and I was I, I, I was happy as a child when we had when we got like 10, 20. And, right, right. And then you know I, I I was very proud when we had 50, but right now we have more than seven and a half thousand apps yeah. actively every day. So. And that's it's an impressively short amount of time. Um, you guys were able to get some investors to assist with your growth, obviously yeah. as well. Um, but 
I'm, I'm try, I can't help but think that even despite that, that this growth has been a blessing and also a curse a little bit. You know, what's been the challenge with trying to be, keep, I mean, are you guys at a point where you're able to handle this scale of growth right now or what other challenges are you facing? Yeah, so, so I think uh, technically we're okay for now and today we, we've heard some announcement and the deal's keynote that, that that like take some of the challenges away from us. Right. We, we were planning to do some things uh, to overcome some limitations, mm -hmm. but today we we heard a couple of announcements that that let us put this on hold and work on, on more interesting stuff than trying to to do well, technical scaling. What, what was what was one of those things that stood out to you? That where it's, what does that mean yeah. for the for developers and users? I guess as well. If anything, you mean um, like the, the end user, me using the phone and, and an app that might be using Ad Duplex and promoting other apps. So yeah, so from yeah. From, from from our standpoint, we, we we are using Azure to host right. all of our serv services, and they've announced a couple of things like uh, increased size of SQL Azure database that okay. that 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 we were basically hitting all the time. Right, right. We okay. Have to to try to overcome it, and that that would either result in us spending a lot of time not working on on new things for developers and and for end users, and rather focus on trying to 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 somehow overcome this limitation. Right. So now we can shift the focus back to, to working on more interesting and most, more useful stuff than just solving some technical problems. Cool. Let's take a look at just a couple of the options the way developers use Add Duplex. We got a little uh, flyer here that talks about um, uh, how developers can promote their apps and how that translates to us, the end user that are using these apps. Um, just go ahead and take us yeah. quickly through the... So basically there are two ways developers use a duplex right now. So the first way is cross-promotion, which is which I mentioned, which is totally free. You just place a line of code into your app, start promoting other apps, they promote you in return. All this is free, you grow together. You, you also can use this scenario to as a backup for your paid advertising, if you monetize your app with advertising. A little known fact is that none of the commercial ad networks have a 100% fill rate. Right. So they don't have, they don't always have an ad to show you. Right. So even you, you, if you have a big app monetized with ads, you are wasting quite a lot of your ad space if you are using only one ad network. Right. And due to our nature, we have virtually 100% fill rate. Right. Because so, of the promotion. Yes. Because we yeah. promote other apps, right. and it's you know it's it's all balanced. Right. So. Uh, so developers use uh, our cross promotion as a backup for their uh, for their main or of their commercial app. Gotcha. And the other way is yeah. uh, if you have a budget uh, to promote your app, you can also buy that outstanding 20% inventory that we have and right. promote your app like uh, on a bigger scale than what you you are getting now with with uh, cross promotion. Sure. So for uh, and for for those in the listening that want to know how this affects you, the user. This is where a developer builds an app, uses the service, and you're going to see uh, an ad window in their app promoting other apps that use Ad Duplex as well as traditional advertisements yeah. that get pushed to the space. And then for this, this is for the developer that maybe builds an app, you buy it for 99 cents, and then he uses Ad Duplex to promote his app through other developers' yeah. apps. Um, so you, the user, may be not seeing advertisements on this particular application, but the app is being promoted through the ad duplex yes. uh, mechanism. And um, so far, it's been pretty successful. You got over 7,500 apps now to show for it. Yeah. It's been three years. Another thing that um, has become quite a staple amongst us in the mobile arena, uh, in terms of media, are the statistics that you gather and publish every month, showing Windows Phone activity. Um, across different markets and right down to a granular level about the types of devices and even the carriers um, using uh, usage rates and things like that. Um, my first question is how do you decide what countries you're going to track on any given month? Because you always seem to have a variety. Yeah, so basically there are, so we, every month we do, I don't know, from around 10 countries and so, so it's, we are from a small country but unfortunately based on our data it, doesn't make sense to cover small countries because you know the the amount of data we have about that country on a particular day is not really statistically relevant to, right. to do some to make some assumptions based on it. So it's mostly bigger countries. We cover U.S. every month because you know it's it's basically a space that is. Uh, 
we're, dictating we're, all. We're impossible to ignore. Yeah. <laughs> US is di dictating all the all the like smartphone technology fashion in the world. Uh, yeah. And, which is sort of unfortunate in the phone's case because it's doing much better in other places. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. But. Uh, yeah, so we cover US and then we cover like uh, around 10 other countries and we try to not, not to cover the same country twice mm. in a row. So for, for quite a long time we've covered India every month because it was very dynamic in that show. It was uh, like uh, uh, a poster country for Lumia 520, how it, right. how it went from zero to like half of the Indian market. Right. So it was very interesting to cover it every month, but now it's stabilized and we We've switched to, to our previous model of covering basically a set maybe of 20 countries. And, right. and, and you gather that based on the number of apps. You just grab a, a selection of apps that are using Ad Duplex yes. and then you grab that data. Is it a single day sh snapshot that you look at when you yeah, do that? Yeah, so we, we do, we, we've decided to limit it to a single day. So right. Basically, mostly for technical reasons because it, it's uh, uh, making sense of all the you know different phone model names that are reported and different data sets. It takes some time, and we think uh, they were so. Uh, the, uh, data from one day is quite enough to to to, to make uh, to make some uh, some. Uh, Conclusions based on it. So sure. we, we, we take one day every month and we cover uh, cover the database right. of, of, of that day. Now it's become a, a real you know it's become a staple of kind of getting a, a reading about the state of yeah, it's, the it's Windows funny. Phone environment around the world. It's funny how these things happen kind of by accident. Right. It's because we I was doing it you know you can say it for fun mm. not not regularly and then one day. We actually did a Windows 8 report mm -hmm. right a month after Surface was released. Yep. No one knew what's going on with it, and that report got on fire. And you know, I got calls from for even from like old school media, like right. uh, Los Angeles Times and San Francisco wow. and, and then and mm -hmm. then realized that you know, in the whole world, there are only a few companies who has this sort of data, and and. Two of them are Microsoft and Nokia, who are right. not that willing to share it, and then, <laughs> right. and then, and then us, basically. Right. right. So we, we realized that there is that we have data that is interesting to people, and sure. we can, we can share it. Share it. No one is forbidding us to do it. So and, and it's interesting, and it's, yeah. it's good both for our community, both for media, and for us to right. to get our name out there. So. That's good stuff. Yeah. I mean, we like and we like reporting it too, because especially because you put those very useful graphs at the same time. So. Uh, it's it's good stuff. So that's that's a, you know a snapshot of uh, Ad Duplex and and the founder uh, Alan Melendovich, uh, and uh, all the way here from Vilnius, Lithuania. Yeah. Got the whole team here. And uh, for you folks that are uh, developers and looking to get into the game, their their mantra is to advertise uh, before you monetize. Because the whole idea is to get some scale. They're giving away boomerangs here at. Uh, this this yeah. sort of symbolizes yeah. how, how it works. You, yeah. you put your data, yeah. you right. put your ad impressions in, right. and you get them back. So. You get them back, right, right, right. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks for uh, spending time with us here at Build 2014. Thank you. And uh, we'll take it from there. So that's uh, that's a look at you know one of the staples of the Windows Phone environment. Uh, we're here at Build 2014 in San Francisco, California. Uh, keep checking back with PhoneArena.com for more. Uh, about Windows Phone, the Windows environment here in San Francisco.